Welcome back to more Let's Play Chips Challenge Level Pack 3, and here we are at this uh, Melinda Dispatch, and the next level is going to appear to be unsolvable. So this this one will probably take the whole part. I I know the last part was kind of short because I cut it early, but I don't really know how long the parts will be until I edit them. And here we are. Looks like a teleport maze of some sort. Yeah, it doesn't look impossible to me. Looks perfectly solvable so far. I'll go through the rest of the teleports just in case there's anything I've missed. I guess not. Anyway, I'm assuming there's going to be thieves because it, it said use only what you need. And I know there must be thieves now because there's two fire boots. I probably need flippers. Yeah, I'm gonna need flippers if I want to get the chips or blocks. So far, I haven't seen what's impossible about this level yet. So I wonder where that comes in. No wonder where I question whether the level is solvable or not. This is pandemonium in the clubhouse right now. I don't really want to get hit by one of those pink balls, obviously. I wonder if I could have saved my force floor boots till later. Because that's the sort of thing I'm looking for, because I'm... At this point, yeah, I'm... I was screwed anyway, but... When they say a level it may be impossible, but you don't know, that's the sort of thing I look for, is a boot that I didn't necessarily need to get. Yeah, this level is not impossible at all. In fact, it was actually quite simple. Because I can simply go back for that force floor boot. Let's just hope I don't get hit by the pink balls. Because if I did, then it would extend the time of this part to much longer than I, I hope for it to be. That was close, but... I did the right thing, and that was close again. And there we go, level solved. That was not impossible at all. That, did, that only took one retry. And here we are, the hint on this one says this level is possible too. And it's called Recess, which I'm guessing is because of all the recessed walls. We'll get that chip, get that chip, and then I guess I can go up on the recessed walls to go get all the rest of the chips somehow. For some reason, this reminds me of Pac-Man. I guess it's all the chips and the recessed walls. It's like... It's like Pac-Man without monsters to have to avoid. I know that's probably just... my mind playing tricks, but... That was a very easy level, again. And we have Spiral. Now this, I'm surprised the... the CCLP3 creators would allow this name, because there's a level in in CCLP1 called Spirals, with an S at the end. So normally they don't duplicate names, but... And this is kind of close, so if I were the CCLP3 creators, I would have chosen a different name, but it doesn't really matter. Looks like I'm supposed to go this way. 
and then keep on pushing my way through the the force floors. There's a tank back here, so I can go this way and go a little bit further, which is very creative. <coughs> Now I have to hit the button once again, and also go in there to get the fire boots in there. And I'm obviously failing at at boosting and moving off the forest floors in time. I see how that works though, because I need the fire boot to get past the tank when it's closed, and then the other ones open. And I guess that also explains the name, because you're going in spirals. I hope I opened the correct door, because it was the only one available to me. I could just keep on looping all day, if I'm not precise enough. Or at least until time runs out, in which I start over and then keep on... The whole process repeats itself. Or, alternatively, I could just keep the button held down, which makes things a bit easier. Like that. Now I need a toggle switch and another yellow key, because that's down here. Yeah, I need a toggle switch doubly badly here. But I can also go down here and then keep on going through this spiral. Let's see, I wonder if there's anything underneath the block. Probably not, but I'll probably need to push it out that way anyway. And there's something out there. This is starting to get confusing, and of course I have... I'm always paranoid of screwing. There we go, one more hit of the tank. This is actually a very lin linear level, which is... which makes it harder to screw, but it's also less interesting. Not this isn't that not that this is an uninteresting level, but it's just kind of linear. And thus it is I guess screw proof in a way. If any of you have gotten screwed before on this level, please tell me in the comments. Let's see, I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. There's a bomb there, so I probably need to get a block. I guess I still need the ice skates, because there's a, an ice skate there, so I won't step on the thief just yet. Instead, I'll try to find a way to the toggle switch. Uh-oh, I guess it's guarded by the thief, so not much I can do there. Let's see, I'm probably screwed, but... Let's go and take a risk. And there's nothing under there, but I know... Oh, I was supposed to push it the other... Or no, I wasn't, so I'm fine. I'll probably be coming around the other way anyway. I guess. Maybe not. Well, I'm definitely coming around the other way because there isn't much use for that. Unless I'm getting a force floor boot later on. In which I'm screwed. I'll probably be finding myself screwed in a, much more often now that the levels are starting to get harder. And I have gotten my fire boot back, so I guess I get all the boots back once again as I continue my chip collecting in this level. Let's see, where else could I go that has fire? 
Oh yeah, there's that. And I got a yellow key, now where could I go with it? There's a whole bunch of doors back here. And quite a few chips also that I can that I'm free to collect. And there we go, now I've finally gotten the green key, which will open up a whole bunch of additional paths. But I'll come back to them later and do the main path first. And there's the toggle switch again. I don't want to use it just yet, but... But I will come back for it when I need it. Which might be right now. Yep. I can always come back and hit it again later. If I need to. Uh oh. Why did I have to miss? This time I'll get it. I should not be missing fourth floors like that because I'm sure there's going to be levels later on that require precision, precision with fourth floors. I want to know where to take that block before I use it. It'll go all the way back to the beginning of the fourth floor right there. And then I can push it down and over there and I can get the bomb. So that's that's nice. I hope I don't run out of time because I don't have much left. This is starting to get repetitive and I'm worried about the time, which is the CCLP3 creators were very strict with. I can imagine the creators of the levels themselves gave way too much time and then the CCLP3 creators changed all the levels so that they have much less time. Hopefully it isn't biased towards the the bold timers. And there aren't any that actually require going really fast. <coughs> Seriously? Why did I have to miss that? I'm not very precise and it's a, a skill that I will definitely need later on. So that concerns me. I'm running out of time. I might lose the level if this keeps up. Let's see, what could I do with a blue key? I've got to act fast because I am running out of time. I do not know. This could be scary. If it isn't... Oh, here we go. Not screwed yet. But I do not have much time left. And I know exactly where to go next. Missed again. This is not good. I'm not precise enough. Really? This is bad. I'm not sure if I have two yellow keys, but if I do, I can keep on going that way. Like, I even have much enough time left. Oh, there's another one right there. I'm dead. The, the time's gonna run out here. You have no idea how much I freaking hate time in games. Damn it! I should not have to go through that all again. A 600 time level and yet I run out of time. Hang on guys while I go into the level editor and edit it so that it is 999 instead of 600. Actually, no, I'm just kidding. If I were to hack like that, it would be in an extreme case in which I cannot do the level. But, uh, dude, please do remember I reserve all the rights to hack if I... if I can't do a level, a level later on.
Okay, back here. And I know what I'm supposed to do is put the block in the corner like that. Now I can bypass the thief. So I just cannot wait to finish this level and get this over with. Overall, I would give this level a 4 out of 10, because it's a very interesting idea, which is what we need for CCLP3, but it's you one false move shouldn't screw yourself in such a level where you have to go all the way back to the beginning again and start the whole thing over, which is very frustrating. So sorry to whoever made this level, but I'm I'm not rating it very highly. I know if I mentioned hacking the game one more time, the creators of CCLP3 would probably get mad at me, so... So I won't say anything about hacking the game again. I mean, I guess I reserve every right to, to hack the game if I need to, but... I guess I got the exit now. And there we go. I'm guessing I'm s not screwed if I keep on going, because then I can just go back. And we will continue this Let's Play in the next video.